So you want to know my techniques, huh? Can you make a tutorial about the orbital double hits? Please make a tutorial. Can I ha practice with bots? How should you make orbital guides? Because I'm a, how are you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is, how do you hit orbitals? Okay, okay. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's not easy. I'll give you the formula and you're going to have to put in the work to practice it. But once you get it down, you can definitely scare these people and make them think you're hacking. So <laughs> it'll be worthwhile. So first thing you need to do is start you up a custom game and set your POV to either 92 or 91. This will make the render distance at the optimal range whenever you are gonna throw, go for these orbital shots. It doesn't matter if it's 91, it doesn't matter if it's 92, it's just personal preference. I personally like 92, some other people like 91. Next, we need to set the map. I like prefer the maps with uh, open skies. Uh, Shadow Tempo is good, one of them. Uh, the perks that I like to use whenever I'm playing is Floods of Rage, Darkness of Real, Gearhead, and Lethal. After you got all that set up, go to your settings and go to Input Bind and go and look for the camera. Go to Look Up and change it to a key binding that you'll be pressing for the rest of your life <laughs> when you're playing Huntress. And save. Now, if you're playing on a controller, you're going to need to learn how to look up fully into the sky without having to without moving left and right i know it's kind of hard on for console players it's just how it is but hey if you get it down you get it down okay for step one you need to train your eye to notice these key differences during the gen notice how this gen keeps changing back and forth as i am moving forward and backwards and you can notice that there's wires going from the t from the tip all the way down to the bottom me personally, I look for the wires underneath. I call them sandbags. And because, you know, they look like lines or sandbags that you put underneath the gen. Once you learn that, immediately stop when the sandbags appear and just throw in the sky. And eventually it will land on top of your survivor. I like to leave the match immediately after the first 10 seconds where lethal likes to show and then I usually hop back in. It's the fastest way to make sure they get on the gen and you get to know where they're at. Just to practice just throwing them instead of just always you know trying to guess where they're at. Positioning is always going to be a key factor when you're going for these orbitals. Make sure that the gen is at least a square or a rectangle from where you're looking. If it's at a diagonal, it'll be a lot harder to, to shoot because you're gonna have to make micro adjustments in order to go for the hit. Boop. Once you got your positioning down, you need to understand that these sandbags or these lines that appear underneath the gen indicates that you are ready for a side shot. It's my little helper to indicate if I need to do a little bit more forward or a little more back. And then I center my aim which is right between the O and the uh, W line. And then we just look straight up and just throw. Now the second shot is the most trickiest and hardest shot to do because you need to follow through and you only have a small window to execute it before the person runs away. Now, you can do a straight shot at the person if he's in line of view, or you can do a second lob shot that I personally love to do. And to practice this, line yourself up to get ready to do an orbital shot and just do a normal lob that's not an orbital. And eventually, you'll get the muscle memory to hit a person. Honestly, the second shot is the most hardest one to line up. I leave like a little space between my center and that gen to line up this shot. I use this gap right here to measure if I'm lining up correctly with the gen to go for the second shot. Once you get the technique down for the first orbital shot and the second orbital shot, it's all about putting them together to make that sweet sauce of a double tap. Line up with the sandbag to the side, throw immediately straight up, make the gap, and throw a second one, and eventually, the double hit appears. And the learning doesn't stop there. After you know how to do the double tap efficiently, go ahead and learn how to do orbitals over the gen when they're trying to block, use the gen as cover, or learn how to uh, 
go for the shots if they're closer to you by just making micro adjustments forward or micro adjustments back. You also need to learn and with practice know about the maps where it is orbital and when it's not. Like, for example, the Killer Shack is not orbital because it doesn't have a roof. Things like that is stuff you'll learn as you keep practicing these orbital shots. So yeah, that's the entire guide. All you need to do now is to put it into practice, start those bot lobbies, start throwing those hatchets, and use the tips that I showed you, and eventually you will start landing these orbitals. And once you start landing these orbitals, then you can just put them into an actual game, and you can see how shocked they are. They'll start calling you hacks and everything, even though it is all skill, and you put the hours and the work. I gave you the formula how to do the shots, but eventually it falls down to the player whether he puts the hours in to practice this skill, and once you get it down, it will make you a terrifying huntress to play against. And I, boy, I will be happy to see more and more clips on YouTube and in my Discord.